hour, we're going to begin this half hour with another big announcement. A massive donation for Stony Brook University on Long Island. Incredible. It comes from someone very close to the school. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz joins us from the newsroom with the story. Shante. Well, Shirley and David, the donation is $500 million, one of the largest gifts ever to a university here in this country. Well, the money comes from Jim Simon and his wife, Marilyn. They met at Stony Brook University decades ago. Jim is a former Stony Brook math professor who became a prominent mathematician and is now a billionaire. Stony Brook University, a SUNY school on Long Island, is breaking barriers nationwide. I'm proud to announce that the Simons Foundation and Simons Foundation International have together pledged $500 million to Stony Brook University's unrestricted endowment. The state school in Suffolk County is receiving one of the largest gifts ever to an American university. The donation was made by the Simons Foundation, formed by an alumni married couple, Marilyn Simons and her husband, investment hedge fund owner and billionaire, Jim Simons. I just love Stony Brook. I, I had never actually heard of it before I, I came, but uh, it's just a wonderful institution. I'm so happy to be here today and to be able to give back to Stony Brook, which has given so much to me. The money will go towards scholarships, academic programs, and research. And the funding comes just in time, triggering an additional $200 million donation, this time of public funds, a 40% match under a donation matching program, passed as part of the New York State budget in April. It was signed into law by Governor Kathy Hochul. My small part was was to come up with this endowment idea, which I didn't realize was going to be so expensive for me. <laughs> uh, wasn't counting on the largest uh, unrestricted endowment gift in the nation's history. Governor Hochul says, although the cost is high, if the endowment idea was an inspiration to the Simons to come forward, then it was worth it. Hochul says she hopes others will follow their generosity and leadership.